Hello everyone and welcome to Blackstar Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with mgrmusic.com and in this video we're going to look at five Richie Sambora inspired guitar tones using the Blackstar Silverline series. The amp I'm using in this video is the Blackstar Silverline Deluxe but as always with these artist style videos all of the patches are downloadable on the Blackstar Insider community and they're also linked below in the description. You can upload these to any of your Silverline series. For those who are unaware Richie Sambora was the lead guitar player for the group Bon Jovi. He was with the band from the very early stages of their career up until fairly recently where he since quit the group. He was present on all the band's major albums and major singles as the lead guitar player. So because Richie has had such a varied career and he's had so many tones throughout the years he's been playing with Bon Jovi and both as a solo artist, we're going to look at some broad tones to cover his general style at different points in his career from the very very early Bon Jovi stages up until his solo material in the early 90s. So this first tone we're going to look at is inspired by the track Roulette off the band's first album. I'm using the OD1 voice of the amp here with the EL34 response. I've got the gain pretty low, it's about two. This is a very British voiced sound, so the ISF is straight over to the British side. The bass is actually quite low here because the OD1 channel has a bit of low end anyway, so the bass is set to two. The mid is actually set to eight to get that real pushed British character, and the treble is on seven and a half. There's also a spring reverb and a chorus on this as well. The spring reverb to create some space and the chorus to thicken the guitar parts. I should also mention the resonance and the presence controls remain the same for all the tones. The resonance is set straight up at midnight and the presence control is on about two o'clock. The resonance and presence controls are not part of the presets, they're global settings that you have to dial in on your own silver line. So you can download the patches from Blackstar Insider, put those on your silver line, but you will need to set the resonance and presence controls to match this as well because they do not come as part of the preset. <laughs> The second tone we're going to look at is a big 80s rock sound inspired by the Slippery When Wet album. So we're still using the OD1 channel here and we're still using the EL34 response, but I've brought the ISF back now to about seven and a half. The gain is set to two for this one, the bass is on three, the mid is on seven, and the treble's on eight and a half. This is quite a cutting tone, you want a lot of output for that big 80s rock sound. In the effects section we've got a spring reverb, there's a linear delay on for some repeats, a lot of 80s guitar players would use delay to fatten up the sound, so if I just turn the volume up and hit the strings you're going to hear a quick repeat. And we've also got a chorus on because again in the 80s everyone used chorus to really fatten the guitar sound. <laughs> The third tone we're going to look at is inspired by the New Jersey era, so this is a much fatter rock tone than the previous album, which was the Slippery When Wet tone. So I'm still using OD1, the gain is set to 2, still got the ISF pretty high but it's backed off now to about 9, so it's almost up full on the British side but just dialed back a little bit and I'm still using the EL34 response. Because this is a fatter tone, we've really pushed the bass and the mids for this one. So the bass is on seven and a half, the mids are on nine, and the treble is back down to five and a half. And then in the effects section, this time I've gone with a whole reverb just to create that extra size that you don't get from a spring reverb. The linear delay is still there to create that repeat and that sort of extra thickness. And again, the chorus is still there to also add thickness. <laughs> Now we're going to move into some cleaner guitar tones. This was inspired by the verse picking pattern from the track These Days. This is a great sort of bass clean tone to use if you're trying to dial in any Bon Jovi or Sambora style clean. I'm using the clean bright voice for this with a 6L6 response and the ISF now is all the way over to the American side. The channel gain is set to 5. This just brings a slight hint of breakup at the very very top end of the clean bright voice. This is quite a warm clean tone so we've got the bass on 8 
the mid on seven and a half and the treble backed off to four. I'm using a whole reverb for this again to capture that space. The linear delay is there, but very, very subtly just as a thickener. And there's also a subtle phaser on here as well, just for a bit of movement in the clean tone. Richie would often use something like a phaser just to create a little shimmer to the clean. And you also wanna use your neck single coil for this if you have one available. And the final tone we're going to look at is inspired by the track Stranger in This Town, which is actually one of Sambora's early solo hits. This is another great kind of shimmering clean tone, once again using the clean bright voice of the amp. But this time we've gone to the EL34 response and the ISF is set straight up the middle so you get the best of that British and American EQ range. The channel gain is set to 8 here just again to get that little bit of a top end breakup. The bass is set to 9.5, the mid is set to 10, and the treble is set to 4. And this time in the effects section, I'm just using a whole reverb and a chorus, but the chorus is on a little bit more prominently than it has been now, so we can actually hear it. The other important factor with this is I'm using position 4 on my guitar, which is the neck single coil and the middle single coil together. <laughs> So there you go, there are five Bon Jovi and Richie Sambora inspired guitar tones and patches for you to download and put straight onto your Silverline amp. Like I said, the patches are available right now on the Blackstar Insider community and they're also linked down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to let us know down below in the comments what you thought of these tones, how close you thought we got, and if there was anything you think we could have done better. And also if there are any other artists you'd like to see us recreate the tones of using the Silverline series, please throw their names in the comments down below. Don't forget to go check out Black Star Amplification on YouTube for more videos just like this. There's a bunch of other artist videos already up on the channel as well. And if you're looking for a guitar teacher, don't forget to head over to mgrmusic.com and check out the network of teachers all around the UK. Okay, thanks so much for watching guys. I will see you soon.